Andrew, this is the drag drill you're going to work on to, to simulate impact. As you drag the club from approximately 18 inches behind the golf ball forward to impact, you have to rotate your hips 45 degrees and you got to get your arms extended. You want a, a, a flat left wrist pointing, the back of the left hand is pointing at the target, the palm of the right hand is pointing at the target. Now what you don't do is you don't put any angle in the back of your wrist. So you don't have any power because you don't have any leverage. You, you were squeezing the club far too tight, you were holding it uh, incorrectly. We rotated your left hand clockwise about two inches so that the thumb is at two o'clock. You're holding the club in the fingers. In this drill you're going to take the club and you're going to you can see here what I'm doing. I start with the club behind, I rotate my hips to the right, I drag the handle forward, and I rotate my hips to the left. Notice how the handle of the club is in front of the club head and in front of my left hip. So that's what you want to do. And you want to simulate that, that movement over and over until you can get a feel. Hi, my name is Jim Estes and today I'm going to give you a drill I think will be a great drill for you to do. This drill is one that I use frequently for two things. One is balance and the other one is simply to get a feel for disassociating or turning one segment of your body independent of the other. So the way this drill works is take your grip, now get into your posture, then what I want you to do Stand with your feet together, bring your knees together, and stand on one foot. Once you get your balance, what I want you to do is take a couple of swings in the, with the emphasis of trying to keep your lower body as still as possible. And the goal is to take three swings without losing your balance. This is a real challenge, but I guarantee if you work on this, your golf swing is going to get better. The reason that drill is so good is because one, it's working on balance. And by the way, if you can't stay on balance on one leg, don't worry about it. There's a lot of people that can't do this drill, but you will get better at balance. Balance is a learned skill. The other great thing about this drill is it forces you to keep your spine in the same place. Because if you move your head dramatically, you will lose your balance. I encourage you to do that on both feet. So you've got your left leg only and your right leg only. Take three swings and look at that, I lost my balance. Try to hold yourself up. Don't touch the ground. Don't let your other foot touch the ground. The second drill is cross your feet. If you can't do the first one, if you can't stand on one foot, then cross your feet, right leg over left, and take some swings three times without losing your balance. This drill is great for disassociation. One segment, your trunk, is moving independent of another. So, the standing one leg swings and the cross leg are two drills I think will be very helpful to create balance and separation between the upper and lower body.